Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the three knots I use the most fishing here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I've listened to some of your comments and some of your emails about it's hard to see the monofilament line. So I've got some larger line here so you can see how I tie these knots and we'll do it first person. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first knot I want to talk to you about is the Palomar knot. Uh, Palomar knot is really easy. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Um, but we use this when we're tying braid directly to terminal tackle or hooks or anything like that because braid has a tendency to slip. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your line, you're going to double, double it over, and you need enough so that you can pass whatever it is you're tying, whether it's a hook, maybe a quick fish, back through the eye of the Palomar knot. So we've doubled over, we're going to go through the eye of what we're tying onto, okay? Now all we want to do is we want to do an overhand. So it looks like this. So we've got our double and we've done an overhand. Now we're just going to open up this loop. We're going to send whatever it is we're tying through that loop and then we're going to start cinching down. Now a lot of times with real braid and stuff like that, you may need to wet this with some saliva. But you want to get that nice and snug right there. Now we have a good Palomar knot, all right? That's not coming off if you're using that on braid, all right? Okay, so the next knot that I use a lot is the uni to uni knot. Uh, there's a lot of applications for this. I'm gonna use the uni to uni knot if I wanna put some fluorocarbon to braid. Uh, even if I wanna put some fluorocarbon to mono, maybe I need uh, a liter of fluorocarbon. Uh, and I use this um, bead fishing, jig fishing, uh, I use it bass fishing. There's all sorts of applications for this. Uh, it's a simple knot to tie. Uh, it's just got some extra steps. Make sure that you give yourself a little extra line on both ends until you get comfortable tying this. Uh, and then I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on this. So basically, let's say the red line is our main line and the white line is our floral carbon. What we want to do is we want to double over our fluorocarbon, okay? And then we're going to pinch the main line with the actual leader material. And then we're going to also pinch in the tag end, okay? Now you have a loop here. So here's our main line. And this is the leader part. This is the wrap part. We're gonna make seven turns on this. Now, I'm gonna show you something here. If, if you look at pictures on the internet, you're gonna see that they make these nice, beautiful little round turns like this. Well, you're not going to get that with fluorocarbon. You're not even gonna get it with mono. So what I tend to do is I tend to wrap it inside as I twist down the line and depending upon the thickness of your line, how much poundage it is, it's six to seven turns. And so now I wanna start tightening up the leader and start pulling that together. And as you do, you start pulling all that together, you're gonna to create your first uni, okay? Now you don't have to tighten it down all the way yet, but it's pretty snug, okay? Uh, and typically, you'll be able to pull some of that braid through up onto the fluorocarbon if you need to. Now, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So, we've got our, our braid here along our leader material, our fluorocarbon. Now, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to wrap this seven times. doing first person makes it a little difficult to tie this knot just so you guys can see everything so that'll be sufficient so now we've come through and now we want to start tightening that down and so we just start snugging pull that you can work it a little bit get it get it nice and snug don't reef down on it just yet okay so now we have that uni knot right there okay 
So here's our braid uni, here's our fluorocarbon uni. Now we're gonna take our fluorocarbon leader and we're gonna take the main line, the braid of the main line, and we're gonna start pulling together. And as they come together, now we can cinch and then grab the tag ends and cinch it. Give it a cinch there and give it a cinch on the leader and the main line. This knot, uh, when you're using it on say some braid and some fluorocarbon or mono and fluorocarbon or even mono to a braid, uh, this is going to pass through the eyes of your rod no problem. But this is a super strong knot. When you're done, you're gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna trim the end. And I trim it pretty close. I've never had um, this knot unravel because I trimmed it too close to the, to the knot. But there you have it. Nice clean uni to uni knot. So now what I wanna show you, this is um, my number one knot. Uh, I know tons of guides that use this knot. Uh, I know a lot of you use an improved clinch knot when you tie, so you come in, you do maybe seven turns, right? You get your turns. Now you're coming through here at the base of the hook and then you're bringing it back through this loop here and tightening that down, right? I know you guys know this knot. It's probably the knot that a lot of you guys are using to tie your hooks but I don't use that knot and I wanna show you why. So I use just a simple clinch knot, simple, okay? So I'm gonna come through the eye of whatever it is. I tie my terminal tackle with this, I tie my hooks with this, um, or if I'm tying my leaders onto my, onto my terminal tackle, I, um, we use an egg, an egg loop knot for our hooks. But we come through here, we get our wraps, Depending on the thickness of the line, like I've used some 30 pound line and I've done four wraps and it's completely sufficient. After I get my twist, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here through that opening right there, the loop down by the eye of my terminal tackle or my hook. And now I'm just gonna cinch this down. And that's it. And I, I nine times out of 10, I hold this tag in such a position, I never even have to clip it, okay? And this knot is going to hold. I've put countless clients on fish, this knot does not come apart, okay? Why I like it so much and why a lot of guides like using this knot is because when we're re-rigging, we can simply come up and pull with our fingernails and pull that knot off. And I know it's amazing to you that we're tying just a simple clinch knot um, and it, we're not losing fish, but yet with a fingernail pull, that'll come right off. In fact, if I grab, I've got some mono here, some high-vis yellow, I'll grab the high-vis yellow. Okay, so we'll tie this onto the eye of this hook. Again, a lot, most of the time I'm tying it onto my terminal tackle. We'll get our twist in here. up through the eye. A lot of times just use a little bit of saliva to tighten it down. Look how tight that is. I'm reefing on that and it is not moving. But yet, if say somebody breaks off the leader or they've got knots in their leader and I need to retie this real quick or I just want to change colors, I just come up here with my fingernails, pull on that, and I've just taken the gear apart I'm able to retie gear in less than a minute because I'm using this knot. So there you have it. Those are the three most important knots that I use day in and day out. The uni to uni knot will take a little practice. So grab some fluorocarbon and some braid uh, and practice before you get on the water. Be comfortable with tying that knot. But all three of those knots are super, super helpful when you're out there fishing no matter what species you're fishing for. If you like this video and you like our other videos, please hit that subscribe button down there so that you're up to date when we release new videos. Thanks for watching.